What's happening all of you lovely lot? I am Lucky Lee and today is another tattoo vlog. Today we have Mark who is traveling uh, about an hour and a half to the studio to get some work done. Mark is actually having two days in a row, so we are gonna get a lot done. I'm not gonna talk much this morning. I will do most of it in the studio. I'll catch you guys there. And we're back at work. Today's client and yesterday's client is Mark. Um, Mark actually booked two days in a row. Mark travels about an hour and a half to get here, um, but Mark, in his own words, is impatient and he's having quite a big project done and truth be told, he doesn't want to wait to get it finished, like, you know, session by session, which is fine. Yesterday, we did the bit you're gonna see first, and today, we did the bit you're gonna see second, just so everyone knows for the sake of continuity on the video, but um, yeah, really cool client, such a great guy, um, works in the medical industry, um, saving kids and stuff, so just a downright good dude. And to be honest with you, I have really, really enjoyed this project so far, and I cannot wait to do some more today. I hope you guys enjoy it, because um, this is the kind of cover-up work I really want to do. This is the kind of cover-up work that just works perfectly, but no one gets it done. So if you do want to cover up, hopefully this video gives you some ideas, and I'll catch you on the time-lapse. Another bit of tribal going to the graveyard. So, day one, we did this really cool geometric trad style owl. I love this stuff. It was so much fun. Mark sent me his reference. He gave me complete control over the final design, which I was really happy with. I combined a few elements from pretty much everything he sent me. The geometric work in there as well is a really, really nice touch and I am so happy with how it all came out. But I'm getting a bit too excited because we're not finished yet. First of all, we lay down a nice thick line and then we go over with an even thicker line. So I will use a large shader normally to line pieces like this. Then black, lots and lots and lots and lots of black. We put a lot of black into this style work it helps with the cover up, but also it's gonna make the colors that we do put in it really, really pop. And it's just gonna completely destroy the old tribal thing underneath. One advantage that we normally have is ink has actually improved a lot over the last couple of decades. So when something like what was on Mark's arm is 20 years old, it's really easy just to blast pretty much anything over it. But if there's a load of black in there, life's even easier. Here we start adding in the leaves. The leaves on this are just gonna tie in everything um, with day two's part of the project as well. And you notice I've whipped out a tiny little bit of shading at the bottom, just so we can blend it seamlessly into the next piece. And here we have the color. We use quite minimal color on this, like a lot of reds and stuff, um, just cause we wanted it bright, we wanted it to pop, but we didn't want to overcomplicate things because there's so much line work here. Um, we wanted it to just have that nice trad feel to it and then adding the basic geometric stuff in. Flat colors without blends normally aren't ideal for cover-ups, but when something has this much line work in this many little sections, it really works. So you get two foamy reveals for the price of one today. Here is day one, over and done with. Um, the whole sleeve's gonna have like a nice red glow behind everything. So I put a little bit of that in there just so Mark's arms looks a bit more finished when, you know, we're done for the day. But that was day one. And then we have day two. We did an all-seeing eye and a nice big rose. Both, again, adding geometric work to them. I didn't color in the geometric individually um, as I did on the owl with this piece largely because of the size that we did them and it would have taken a very long time. And also um, because I wanted the owl to kind of have its own bold look while still fitting these in with everything. Adding in these bits of geometric work, I really, really enjoyed and I want to do it more and more and more in my work as we move on. So again, nice big bold lines and then even bigger, bolder lines to accent the bigger areas. And then we go in and yep, loads of black loads more black because if you're covering something dark and you want the thing on top to look bright if you just whap some light colors over the top the old tattoo is going to probably show through that but also it's not going to have any contrast and when you're you know working with a skin tone as your base as well um you need that dark for the contrast so being able to do it in this kind of 
traddy, neo traddy style. It's, ugh, as you can tell how happy I am with this piece and just happy that I got to do it, to be honest with you. Um, it's really nice as an artist to every now and then, you know, most of our artists just hate their work all the time. It's nice to every now and then to do a bit and go, I am just so happy with that one. Again, tying everything in with a bit of red around the edge. Nice and simple, nothing too complicated. And we put in uh, a nice bright pink for the all-seeing eye with a teal eye with a kind of wood effect around it. Now, Mark just let me go for my life on this. Like, day one, he had a fair bit of input in the design of the owl. Um, day two, he was like, I 100% trust you. Just do whatever you want to do. And I really appreciate that. I really, really do. Um, because once one piece is done, you can kind of work out the style that the client likes and just go from there. Um, it's just that first piece that we need a fair bit of input on. And here we have our second foamy reveal. I didn't re-foamy reveal the owl just out of kindness because it's a day old and I imagine that would have stung a bit. Also put a little trad flower at the top because there was just a weird gap after the owl was done. But yeah, here are two days on Mark. Really, really happy with this and cannot wait to do more of it. And I'll catch you guys in the office. And with that, Mark's two days in a row are done. Absolutely smashed it. Um, credit to him for being honest about being impatient. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. If you want your tattoos done, you get them done. Takes a lot to sit two days in a row as well, um, from just from a pain standpoint. Um, but just putting up with me for two days in a row, that's credit to you and to the guys I work with as well. <laughs> but yeah, really, really cool. Awesome tattoo so much fun i really would love to take my work in that direction it's kind of a style i used to do a lot back in the day and i never get to do it anymore so if anyone wants any give us a message all the socials are in the thing below hope you guys like that one let me know in the comments what you think of that tattoo and that style of tattoo and yeah i feel like this is the first one where i'm kind of getting a hang of this so I'm by no means a professional, but I feel like I'm getting the hang of it. So yeah, any feedback is greatly appreciated. As always, stay positive, stay happy, and whatever you do today, make sure you absolutely smash it. Also, like, subscribe, share, tag, comment, bell. Yeah, <laughs> YouTube. See you in a bit.